I'll be showing the brand new Moodle integration with Microsoft Teams classes and meetings. So you can integrate into your Moodle course and have class teams just like you see here, as well as Teams meetings integration like you see here. We'll assume that you're an educator in this demo and you need to have your IT admin first set up Moodle with Microsoft Teams LTI. This is available now. There's a link in the description for this documentation. Your IT admin will go to the LTI portal and get this all set up. We're gonna assume that's already happened. I'm signed into my Moodle dashboard here and I'm gonna click on Test Dynamic Group. I'm here in my course called Test Dynamic Group and I'm gonna add a Class Teams LTI to one of my topics. And next I'll show meetings after that. So go to the upper right and you're gonna turn editing on. Now I'm gonna choose a topic right here and I'm gonna choose add an activity or resource. Click this and you're gonna see external tool and we'll click that. This opens up the new page to add an external tool to a topic. So I'll give my activity a name, Microsoft Teams. Now I'm gonna drop down automatic based on tool URL and my IT admin already configured this for my institution. So I'll see these LTI choices. Now the first one we'll choose is Class Teams LTI app. Choose that. And now choose Save and Return to Course. Now if I want to drill into this Microsoft Teams LTI component for classes, what you see is that a team was automatically created right here. Now I can open this. It has notifications. I have new activity. That's a welcome. And I can even post directly into that. So if I click here, I can post a message directly there. So if I click in here, I'm gonna open up this dynamic group that was created automatically through the LTI component. Here is that new class team. I have a couple of students that are waiting to join, so I'm gonna to have to activate this. So you'll activate this before anyone else can see it, but this was automatically created and it's ready for my students to try it out. We're also gonna go in and add another one, which is for meetings. So again, we'll click add an activity or resource. Choose external tool. Give it a name, Microsoft Teams Meetings, drop this down and choose Microsoft Teams Meeting LTI app. And then choose Save and Return to Course at the bottom. Now this topic has the Class Teams LTI app linked right here, as well as the Meetings LTI app linked right here. What I'm going to do next is switch to my Chemistry course, which has also had both of these already added, and we'll drill in to see how these work. So in the lower left, I will choose my Chemistry 101 course and we'll choose Teams Meetings. Let's say I'm just doing meetings in my middle course and I have an LTI app integrated, we'll drill in. And here are the meetings. So you can see I don't have anything scheduled. I'm gonna go right here and choose New Meeting and we'll give it a title, Office Hours. I'm gonna to choose to add the entire class instead of just putting in the attendees. It automatically knows the entire roster and I'm gonna set a date and we'll hit Send. Now I have a meeting for my class. It was sent out to everyone. If I want to join that meeting, I just click join here. And now my Teams meeting is ready to join just like I would normally join a Teams meeting, but it's linked up through Moodle. Another new feature for Teams meetings is we've recently brought channel meeting support into LTI. So I'll click new meeting here, give it a title, click on add channel. Here's all my teams, expand chemistry 101 and I will choose chemical reactions and equations as my channel and I'll hit send. Here's my channel meeting and again I can just click join if I want to jump in and I'll switch into chemistry just to show that channel meeting. So go to chemistry here, go down to chemical reactions and equations and there is my channel meeting weekly lecture series so students can launch it from here or they can launch it right from within that Moodle course. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.